All right. What up, guys? It's your girl, Manny Meeks, and I am back. So listen, so we did everything we needed to do, right? So now we gotta go to the castle. Right, let's go to the castle. And figure out what's going on with the Earl. Or Arl. Ah, it is sad to think of how much death there has been here. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Uh -huh. My God. I don't know what I'm gonna do when that Fallout coffee is gone. I'm so sad. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. Mm -hmm. To enter the castle after the village was secure. Mm -hmm. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Why didn't you enter the castle in the first place? I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. Mm -hmm. What if... Uh -huh. Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Who is this? What? You're alive. How did you... Girl, what? What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tiga. Alone. Um... No, we didn't get any explanation, dog. What? Who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Soul, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? Mm. They are Grey Wardens, Isold. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Girl, what's the circumstances? Please, Lady Soul. We had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I, I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You Listen, must help him, Tigan. Let's go. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Is he still alive? He is. <coughs> he is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows him and Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turn their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said fluff. Connor needed help. Um, do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I, I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Mm. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Logan Trash. has hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. No, no, no. It is I who should apologize. Girl. You are right to be suspicious, but... I, I do not know what else to do. 
An evil I cannot fathom holds mm -hmm. my son and the husband hostage. Came for help. Mm -hmm. What more do you want from me? Truth. Tigan, let's go. I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? Let's go. It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the it's castle with you, Isolde. Right <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Okay. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Um, you're a good woman. I am. The maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. Too bad I'm not your wife. So you're just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Let's go. What in the hell was that? I sense unnatural fruit. someone out there who is it by all that's holy you I can't believe it maker's breath how did you get here how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again of all people you've spoken with her then you Girl. know I poisoned Al Eman. for all I know he's already dead He's not? That's a relief. I can't tell you how much. Uh -huh. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Isle was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear. Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Um... Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. <clears throat> what have I done? I don't know. So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? Um... I just want to know how you ended up here involved in this, because I'm nosy. I, I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. 
That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Why did you per poison? Why did you poison him? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Why would you trust him? Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Um, why did you listen to him of all people? Why wouldn't I? I was desperate and this is Terran Loghain we're talking about for Andraste's sake. Why wouldn't I believe him? Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of Magi would take him away for training. <clears throat> Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, <clears throat> to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Why would she be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Mm -hmm. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. Well, I mean... How much magic did you teach him? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minus. <clears throat> Never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. The Arl's <clears throat> a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but Trash. I did it anyway. You should have did it. Such a fool. Yeah, mm-hmm. So what do you tend to do about it? I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. I helped you once in the name of friendship. And I betrayed you. And Lily. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Won't you help me try and do one thing right in my life? I say this boy could still be of use to us. But <clears throat> if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. <clears throat> Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Mm -hmm. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. <clears throat> so how will you make things right? I. Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Um, uh, yeah. You're letting me out? And what then? You can come with me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. Then help, just don't make things I worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow.
Go ahead and get up. Go ahead. Oops. Say you're supposed to be in here? Oh, world of note. Um, I hope whoever finds this can read it. I hate the thought that my last words might be used as kindling or maker forbid to wipe someone's bum. My name is Brennan. I was born in Rain Sphere. I grew apples. Um, Whoever you are, whatever they've brought you here for, if you leave this place, I hope you'll go to Rain Sphere. Oh. Tell my family how I died. Okay. That's cool. A lot of information. I'm waiting for them to get up. Generation, huh? Let's do Thank you so much. Uh -oh. God damn it, I keep using the wrong button.
Oh my god, it's still 80. I hate to drop stuff. Putting it in junk doesn't do anything. I was hoping somebody needed something. Ah! There's a door there, wait. Oops. Just give me money from here on out. Armory? Allow me. I could do that for you. I bet you, you can't. What now? Oh my shut my mouth. Something I can help with? Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. <clears throat> Save it in a castle. They were sparkling. I'm like, don't be playing. Give me all of my stuff.
I'm afraid not. Um. Man, I hate leaving stuff. Um, Man. Hitting the wrong button. All right, I feel better. I'm still full. Drop right ahead. Of them. That's the main dining hall. I don't want that. I Holy shit!
Jeez Louise. All right. that bar on the side. No, I cannot. So is this a different way? Allow me. I could do that for you. What's next? I need that gift. Who did the steel bracers go to? Please let it be Alistair. Oh, is, is nobody? Hold on. Thank you. That's very nice. Right, so...
No, somebody's down, well, a box down there or something. Let me just check. I gotta check before I open the door. You have opened the gates. That is good. The men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Yes. Excellent. Let us go now, then, and see what awaits us there. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. You lie! This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? I know Ma I have to save Connor, What's I happening? Think. Where am I? Oh, thank the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get what away from me, fool woman! <laughs> you are beginning to bore me! Make us breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Uh. Here! Here am I! Well... <laughs> I like him better this way! <laughs> no more yelling! Now he amuses me! <laughs> Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive. Well. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. Ha 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 ha. Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting. <laughs> Did you die? Oh, excuse me. Yes. I did, but let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All this sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Mm. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now she'll repay me.
Tiga. Oh, Tiga. I hope he wasn't dead. He was like, uh... I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. <clears throat> Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. <coughs> there must be some way we can save him. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't! I didn't summon any demon! I told you! Please, if you'll let me help! Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed! Without him, none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. <coughs> I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started him? this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... <clears throat> um, so... Upstairs in his room, I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. Um... What are our I options? I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but... He's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy. Demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. Connor is my nephew. But... He is also possessed by a demon. Death would be... merciful. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront <coughs> the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have... blood <clears throat> magic. Yes, that's right. The ritual I know, it requires life energy. A lot of it. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can Can live. I figure out another way to first? Me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. You're the mage here, not I, my friend. It's you who would be going into the Fade. The decision is yours.
Whatever you do, do it quickly. There's not much time before Connor does something else. Let's try the circle. Just save there. Oh, thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Drop right ahead. wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Ah, so I am to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. Mm. So would I be in your shoes. For me, however, it sets a rather poor precedent, doesn't it? Getting captured by a target seems a tad detrimental to one's budding assassin career. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. They are an order of assassins out of Ventiva, very powerful and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. 
Someone went to great expense to hire this man. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. Mm hmm So, who hired you? A rather taciturn fellow in the of capital. Course. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. Mm. I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a Chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, mm -hmm. to be perfectly honest. Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. The crows bought me young. I was a bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. But don't let my sad story influence you. The crows aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men, whatever you happen to fancy. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell you. If you're considering joining, I'd really think twice about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. Um, I'm listening. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. Mm -hmm. So let me serve you instead. Deal. I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing, that's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing, in which case I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. Um... Very well. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Yes. Does that really seem like a good idea? Yes. Hmm... All right, all right, I see your point. Yes. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. Welcome, Zivran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to mm -hmm. you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, mm -hmm. without reservation. This I swear. You were my man. We was having relations. All right, so... The problem is, hold on, let me go up here. I was gonna try to go up and around, but not at the expense of losing loot. Friends of Red Jenny? Oh, God damn it. Oh. Ah. 
task was never promised to be easy. You said you could enter the Circle Tower, and you were believed. Find the small painted box in the First Enchanter's Irving's office and deliver it to the door marked in dinner room as agreed. Okay. All right, we got everything. We will need to fight shortly. Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. You were there in Ostago. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or, or be hung as a deserter. I dare say most people think the same of you and me. If not worse. I fled the battlefield when Loghain betrayed us. I abandoned my men and they died. Mm. And Caelan <clears throat> with them. He was my king. My friend. Maker. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. I know. Even had Loghain's men not turned their backs on us. The Darkspawn were too many. Even Kalen, for all his bravado, knew there would be no victory at Ostagar. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. Why am I not surprised? Is there someone else we should be bringing back from the brink of death instead? I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. You'll be taking me along, won't you? Call me sentimental, but I left behind some dark spawn that really deserve a sword through the middle. Mm. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Marek's sword, 
It is too powerful to be pulled at by so those monsters. So we're going back monsters. to Ostagar? This is like a, this Same is for the king's quest? other arms and armor. And, and if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. <laughs> yep, return to Ostagar, okay. Uh... How did a child survive that? Superman! The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta. And raise the Tyke as our own. Is that it? Light flasks. A distillation agent. What is the name they have for mother and I? Apostates? Truly, it boggles the mind. <sighs> oh, excuse me. You have some kind of problem? Oh? What is this about? I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. Enemies ahead! Look at this. I remember taking you across when you left with that fella Duncan. And now you're a Grey Warden. My pap used to tell me stories about them. Templars took the boat. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Mm -hmm. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out okay, of their business. Okay, I need some place to sell. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. You could try swimming, nah. but I don't recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over. But I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. You're too kind. Your type don't usually give my type the time of day. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. 
I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land okay. who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. I just need some place to sell. Oh, hi. Good day. Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and mm. he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating. And I got the struggling in. Damn. The name stuck. That's a story. Of course. What would you like? Oh, this one's better. Ah. Ah, I was gonna say something, but it hiccuped. Is the first, uh... Hmm. I know I have a problem. Just like you wanted. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Not the credits. What's I gonna do? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.
me alone. All right, so. Good to see you again. Ah. wonder why the mages built their tower out in the middle of Lake Kalanad. They have an aversion to practicality or something. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Uh-huh. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Move. Kill some Darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Ugh, <sighs> semantics. Move. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go! Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Move. Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that Good clear? morning. Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Sir, move. What's going on? I don't have time to entertain visitors. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. What is happening? I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. We were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. True enough. Yeah. We don't know. Uh oh. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. So what can I do to help? I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Um. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. All right, sir. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... Nothing. Nothing. Uh. I assure you... An abomination is a force Sorry, to be reckoned to with, and you will face more than one. Ah, oh, that arrogance hangs about you like some fell cloud, doesn't it? I'm just trying to do my if job. If you succeed, I would owe you much. Enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Okay, thanks. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. 
We have an agreement then. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Okay. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Yes. Would you like to trade? Oh, he gets not strong enough. Ugh. This is still better, but he still can't use it, huh? Wow. Your wish? Wait, hold on. Here I am. Ah! So let's save here and then come back and try to run through this place and save as many people as I can. Cool. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.